three jets owned by Nigerian government have been ordered to be seized by a French court as part of a dispute with a Chinese company that has alleged breach of contract by the West African country. According to the court documents obtained by the Financial Times, the judgment is the latest arbitration effort against Nigeria by a foreign company, alleging that Africa's most populous nation reigned on an agreement. The Nigerian government won a more than a decade old battle against P&ID, a to owned Irish company last year at the London High Court, after a judge found that the contract at the center of the arbitration award that would have cost the country $11 billion was fraudulent. Global arbitration systems have long been criticized for their secrecy, which often obscures contentious decision-making processes and which anti-corruption advocates say could be an avenue for fraud. Companies have typically turned to such panels because they claim not to trust the judicial processes in some countries where they operate because they want to keep their disputes private away from public courts. The case at the heart of this latest award centers on a 2013 contract signed by Sugumfu and a subsidiary of Chinese investment company Sugumstone Furniture Industrial Investment and the Nigerian and the government of the Nigerian region of Ogun to develop a free trade area. Sugumfu was to own 60% of the joint venture under the terms of the deal. However, three years later, Sungufu alleged that Ogun had backed out of the deal and wanted to take over the significant Chinese investment in the free trade zone. The company said a campaign of illegal acts against it or to ultimately forced it out of the agreement. Zungufu initiated arbitration proceedings against Nigeria in 2018. A 3% arbitration panel in London awarded the company $70 million dollars in damages to be paid by Nigerian government in 2021. The award has since grown to about $81 million with interest. The arbitration panel wrote that it is clear that Zungofo is the effective winner in this arbitrary proceedings in that it has, provide, it has proved its version of the event is accurate. It has successfully resisted Nigerians' jurisdictional and preliminary objections. If it has established that it has a valid claim against Nigeria under the treaty and it has obtained an award for substantial damages. Nigeria has not indicated it is willing to pay the damages. A judge in the commercial court in the King's Bench Division of London's High Court of Justice granted Sun Gunfu an enforcement order against two properties owned by Nigerian government in Liverpool, estimated to be worth between 1.3 million and 1.7 million pounds in June. The three jets to be seized are a Dysot Fal Falcom 7X, a Boeing 737-7N6, BB and an Airbus A33-243 belonging to the Federal Government of Nigeria stationed at Paris, Le Bo and Basel, Basel Moorhouse Airports. The, fam the case familiar we told the Financial Times that Sukufu filed the enforcement order at the center of the most recent ruling with the Paris Judicial Court because the jets were packed in France. A spokesperson for Nigerian president said in a statement that Sungun's hand had withheld vital information and misled the Paris court and that the jets could not be seized because they were protected by diplomatic immunity. The material facts in the transaction between the Ogun State government and Sungun Sahan point to another PID case in which unscrupulous and questionable individuals forcefully presented themselves as investors with the sole objective on the cutting and scamming governments in Africa, he said. So it is only time we talk. Yes, because if these three jets are belonging to the Nigerian government, technically, immunity covers those jets, but it's only time we talk. And it's only time we talk how Nigerian government is going to react to this case, if this case is going to be like another P and ID case, is only time we tell. Yes, but Nigeria has to do whatever it takes to clear their name as a country out of this whole saga. Yes, and it's high time before any investors is coming into any country in Africa. Africa should make sure they carry out their thorough checking or investigation before accepting any foreign investors into Africa to avoid issues like this.